Buenos dias. The day begins for these fifth graders with the usual subjects, math, science, reading, and even PE. Those may appear easy in comparison to talking about gun violence, global warming, bullying, racism. I chose racism because for me, racism is something really, something that, that I see often and something that happens. And I feel like all people should be treated the same way, not just because they're different, because inside we're all the same. Christian Lopez is just one of the more than 500 fifth grade students tackling these issues at the National School District just outside of San Diego. The students choose a topic. I did like world hunger. I feel bad. I really feel bad about because they don't have the life I have. We can donate to help them get food and fresh water. And then use animation. Do you think guns should be allowed? Well, I don't. To explain their thoughts. Immigration is a problem for everyone. They separate individuals from one another. That's a form of injustice. If these are the issues, uh, these are the components that these young people will face as they become adults, then I believe that it is our responsibility to support them in learning how to maneuver some of the um, nuances. But maneuvering wasn't always easy, according to animator David Heredia, who created this five-week program. You know, it makes people uncomfortable when you put them in a situation to talk about something that is not their lived experience. And because of that, I think it's unfair to put a muzzle on a child who wants to express what they're feeling. So instead, you allow them to talk through their art. Just because they're a different race doesn't mean that you have to be rude or to, like, not, not to be nice to them because it's really hurtful for those people. They found ways to help solve or highlight the issues. No matter what color we are, we all are human. And then they got to feel like celebrities as they share their animations with the world. It allows us to actually stop and listen to what's going on in the world of a child and have them offer a potential solution to that problem. When you're kind to someone, they're going to be kind to someone else or you. You should always be kind. The students feel heard and say they will continue to explore these social justice issues. We could still keep working on and progress to make it better.